Welcome to the SCP Foundation. I am 05-4 and today you will be briefed on SCP-018. So, SCP-018, Object Class, Euclid, Special Containment Procedures. SCP-018 is to be contained in its specialty metal restraint inside of a 1 meter by 1 meter by 1 meter sealed box lined with heavy synthetic padding. The sealed box is then submerged in the center of the 10 meter by 10 meter by 10 meter polyethylene holding tank. If SCP-018 is to break free from the holding box, the polyethylene-based goo will slow down kinetic activity enough for proper retrieval by containment personnel. Personnel entering SCP-018's holding chamber are to wear a specialized plating found inside of SCP-018 observation and a breathing apparatus before being lowered into the polyethylene tank. If SCP-018 is loose outside of the polyethylene tank, personnel are advised to secure themselves in a separate room and close doorways or hatches to isolate SCP-018 until containment teams arrive. Description SCP-018 has the appearance of a Super Bowl made by the Whammo Company in 1969. It is 6 centimeters in diameter and colored red. Found when the redacted company was hired to clean out a warehouse that had Whammo merchandise in it, SCP-018 was noted to be able to bounce with extreme height. At first thought to be a pleasant child's toy, SCP-018 was able to bounce with over 200% efficiency. That is, if dropped one meter, it would bounce two, then four, then eight, then 16. The ball soon became a dangerous projectile, reaching speeds estimated at over 100 kilometers per hour and damaging property and injuring five in the city of Redacted. It came to arrest after several days in the nearby link of Redacted and was retrieved by SCP personnel. Due to the speed of the object, and the total surprise by its victims, no cover-up story was required or initiated. And that concludes your briefing on SCP-018. And essentially, containment is very important, but research is also an important thing to take note of in regards to this SCP. Remember, we secure, contain, and protect. We die in the dark so that they can live in the light. Welcome, Zero Five Council member. So today you're going to be briefed on a couple of developments with SCP-018. Let's go ahead and get into it here. So we have a couple of documents to go over here. Uh, document number 018-04. Uh, this was a message to a member of the O5 Council, which member is unimportant. Um, so the message states, I hope everything is well. The reason I write to you is because I believe I have found a more effective method for retrieving new or escaped SCP objects. Yes, I realize we haven't had any progress in reverse engineering whatever allows this thing to defy the laws of thermodynamics, but we have come up with a very effective method for integrating one of those new SCP A5 armor suits with this. Just hear me out. We implant it into the bottom of a boot, Rig up a little bit of mechanical device, and ta-da, the suit is now capable of jumping well over a building. Also, if the wearer has their foot against something that they want dead, well, let's just say it delivers a hell of a kick. All I need is permission to modify one of the pre-existing scp 5 suits, and you'll be able to actually capture Redacted, plus any other escaped SCP objects. Trust me, when have I let you down in the past? Doctor, Redacted. If you'd like to see the redacted information, you will have to access uh, these messages from their source. Um, hiding it in this briefing is considered a bit of a security risk, so just in case we're redacting information. Okay, and then we got document number 018-06, and this is a letter to the doctor. Doctor Redacted. Upon assignment, Agent Redacted was issued your modified SCP A5 armor in retrieving SCP Redacted, and the results are mixed. Agent Redacted was able to place the Redacted collar onto SCP Redacted, chase it through the Amazon, and restrain it by dismemberment. However, due to a malfunction of your little mechanical device, he was launched almost a mile into the air and suffered two broken legs, seven broken ribs, a missing arm, 
and a skull fracture upon hitting the water of Lake Redacted on the way back down. You will fix that before I authorize your armor for common use. And this is document 018-11, um, message to a 05 member of no consequence. Uh, redacted, don't worry, it's fixed. But I have some more ideas. If I can be granted the use of some water from SCP-006, SCP Redacted, and possibly SCB Redacted, I can deliver you a set of SCP-A5 armor and an agent that can capture any, if not all, rogue or unattained SCPs. All I'm waiting on is your approval. And that brings us to the topic at hand. While it would be great to have an agent that can capture any and all rogue or unattained SCPs, the release of SCP-006, as well as the other two SCPs listed, we're going to have to convene on that and vote. Personally, I'm going to go with a no, um, especially since I personally know this doctor. I firmly believe that this doctor can deliver the problem is that I do not trust him to not be in the suit himself. That's my two cents at least. Okay, well, thank you so much uh, for hearing me out, and you have a good rest of your whatever. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, uh, subscribe, and ring the bell if you'd like to see more. If you didn't enjoy this video, go ahead and leave a comment as to why. Uh, please try to keep your comments uh, constructive if you can. And well, thank you so much. Have a good rest of your whatever.